if you're going to do squats all day and quad workouts and hamstring workouts and just really want to get your butt lifted and really have a great set of legs on you, a great set of thighs, why not incorporate your arms at the same time at least? So these are some really, really fire workouts that I have done over time, trained with a master trainer for over eight months. And as you can see, this is a really great upper body workout and lower body workout at the same time. So definitely incorporate this into your routine. And you're going to want to watch the whole video because I did I do have a surprise that's going to pop up on the screen um, at some point in the video toward the end of the video. And you're going to want to make sure to catch that because it's going to really help you out with your workouts. So incorporate this. This is a really good one. This one can be done fast if you want it to be more of a hit cardio workout with a little bit of a jump in it, or you can do it slow and controlled. So that way you're building your glutes. Of course, if you add more weight on it, you are going to have more of an opportunity to build those glutes. And then, of course, you have to make sure that you can lift it with one arm at the same time. So really great workout. Make sure that you're breathing through it. Um, doing 10 to 12 of these is just fine. Of course, you want to make sure you do it to burnout. Number two here is doing an RDL on medicine balls with, of course, a kettlebell in your hand or some kind of dumbbell really great because when you're balancing your body, it's like it takes all of the muscles in your whole entire body to keep yourself from falling. So any workout where you're balancing yourself is a really fantastic way to work out your whole body. And again, I'm holding a kettlebell. So I am not only, you know, I'm lifting it up with my glutes, but because I'm on the medicine balls, I have to make sure to stay stabilized and it's making me work out my arms in order to hold on to the kettlebell. So this is a really great one. Make sure you incorporate this into your workout. And when as you look at all of these different workouts in this video, there's 10 or um, 12 solid workouts. You can literally do this entire routine in a gym or at home. You can modify with no no equipment at home. But if you do it at a gym, you could just gather up all these materials, get yourself a little section in the gym and do this whole circuit three times. So um, of course you just saw frog jumps is number three. Number four is planks. So that's pretty easy. Again, great full body workout. You're working out your core. You're working out um, obviously your your arms, um, having to make sure to stay stabilized and make sure your belly doesn't hang down. So you're getting a really strong core. And then you're also working out your quads as well. Um, so yeah, guys. and then if you move your body from side to side, that's another really great way to really elevate the workout. So definitely incorporate planks. It's a really good one. Um, and again, just really quick, because number three was really quick, make sure those frog jumps are no joke. So great hit cardio workout. If you want to do those, do those jumps with weights, you can do that as well. This is another great workout to work out your glutes and your upper body at the same exact time. Lunges are fantastic for really isolating, um, a particular muscle group um, in your glute area. And then also doing a, a shoulder press at the same time is fantastic. And then you have the weight, um, you know, helping you work out your glute and your arm at the same time. This one is kettlebell swings. Fantastic workout. Um, really, you see a lot of these workouts that I've done so far are done with a good old fashioned kettlebell. So if you get a set of kettlebells, maybe a set of dumbbells, and you don't really need to jump over those yellow dividers for the frog jumps, but you can do that as well. But yes, kettlebells are a great investment. If you want to also check out my Amazon store below to just see the list of the things that I use in all my workouts while I'm training with my master trainer. Also, if you ever want to train with him and you live in the greater LA area, definitely make sure to comment down below and I will respond back with his information. So Number seven is doing um, a single leg R RDL and then making sure to have a kettlebell and ankle weights. So again, great full body workout. And if I wasn't really holding on to this, um, holding on to anything, I would really have to focus on my balance. So um, my balance is, was not <laughs> really good during this. And I also wanted to really breathe into um, focusing on my glutes. So again, with the ankle weight in the back, holding the kettlebell, and then having to balance 
all at the same time is really a great full body workout. So you're working out those arms, getting, you know, getting those arms ready for the tank tops, getting those legs ready for, you know, the skirts and the shorts. So that's a really great workout as well. Another RDL, um, but again, you're just incorporating, um, I believe this is more of like a lat workout, like working out your back um, and the back of your arms at the same time. And then of course, because you're um, hinging at the waist, you are working out your glutes as well. So great workout. Um, again, another set of kettlebells. If you just get some good set of, I would say maybe a set of 10 or 15 and then a heavier set, like 25 or 30 pounds, and you'll be really good to go to do a lot of these workouts. And again, all these can be done without any weight at all. But if you want to build up and tone up quickly, you definitely want to do that. A good old jumping jack with doing shoulder presses at the same time is a great full body workout. So you kind of want to get your bang for your buck, um, especially going into the summer and really any time of the year, if you're just trying to get in shape, or I feel like we're all always trying to get in shape at no, no matter what time of year it is. So you know, um, doing those kinds of workouts is really going to get you results faster when you're doing like a hit cardio workout and you're co- combining it with weights. Battle ropes are excellent as well. This one's kind of hard to do with no battle ropes, but you could also have some dumbbells in your hand and just kind of do the motion of, um, if, as if there was ropes in your hand. Um, so yeah, this is a great one, almost like a burpee, like a half burpee with incorporating the battle ropes in there it will get you winded it'll get your heart rate up um and then your heart rate goes up and it comes down and when that happens you start to really tap into fat burning fat storage so you know you're you're toning up and you're working out your glutes and you're working out your arms at the same time so another really great full body workout that i highly encourage you to incorporate number 11 is jump squats so you can do this with a weight without a weight and it will get you winded. It will get you tired. So just a good old fashioned jump squat is excellent. And that's actually not the surprise. The surprise is still coming that I have for you guys. So stay tuned. Also, my how to lose belly fat ebook guide is on sale. If you want to click the link down below for how to lose belly fat ebook guide. It's a fantastic guide to get you on track with losing belly fat, with losing fat overall, incorporated with a lot of these different workouts. Um, it's fantastic. So definitely tap in. Of course, jump roping. Jump roping is, I feel like it's kind of, I feel like it's it's not given the, the justice that it needs with how good it is for not only burning fat, but also keeping your gains at the same time. I wasn't really a big jumper. I mean, of course, as a kid I was, but jump roping is excellent to, of course, help, you know, it even helps with your balance a little bit too, I noticed. Um, especially when I you'll see in a second, I start jumping on one leg and my balance, I was like, Ooh, I'm wobbly. So definitely a great challenge for your body as well. And here it is. Make sure you screenshot this full body workout. These are all the workouts that I just listed off in this video. So definitely screenshot this, save this, save this video, send it to anyone that could benefit from it. And then of course you can always make sure to reference this video. If you're like, what was on that? What was, you know, the list is here, but what does it look like again? What does that exercise look like? How do you do it? So you can always reference this video. This is my trainer. If you ever want to train with him muscle as well, let me know. Have, um, he's a kickboxing. Like muscle- he was a professional boxer and turned trainer now. So let me know if you want to find out who he is. I will send you his information if you just want to comment down below. But as you can see, I'm just kind of looking a little unstable. So jump roping is definitely something I am incorporating I also have a Patreon. If you want to support the channel, I am going to be posting so many of my workouts to help you on your journey while you are trying to get to that next level. Um, And then I just do this one in here as a bonus. Of course, just, you know, the good old high knees running in place. If you have a resistance band, you can strap yourself in um, and put it on something that will hold you and do that as well. So excellent way to, to do a full body workout, burn fat, and be able to maintain your gains at the same time. Um, So excellent, excellent. Make sure you are subscribed. If you have not subscribed, make sure you like the video. Again, if you want to become a Patreon member, click the link down below, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.